Mike Dettelier along with Greg Stock, the Thibodeau Regional Medical Center. We are in the front here at uh, Lady of Prom Sucker Church where uh, Thibodeau Regional along with Sideline Pass and members there handed out well over a thousand meals today, Greg, again. About 1,500. Uh, yeah. uh, congratulations again and, and really thankful, you know, having grown up uh, on the Bayou a little bit farther north. I'm, uh, like Bobby <laughs> said, you live in the Garden District. Uh, but, you know, we, we all from the Bayou, man, it, it's greatly appreciated because, you know, this area has had so much devastation and it, it's going to be a long term build here. Yeah, it's a privilege to come down here and help out. We realize that we're doing relatively a small thing, but hopefully meaningful to people just to let them know somebody cares about them and they get a hot meal. It's our fourth trip down the bayou. And we've been a couple other places over in Terrebonne Parish and over on the river and we've served about 10,000 meals. But it, it seems like a small thing in a way con considering all of the damage and destruction that people have experienced. You and I handing out meals, you know, 1,500 people. Man, you know, it's just a smile on their face. Yeah. Things are getting a little better for them. Got electricity. Um, for some, they got cable, you know, internet service, that sort of thing coming back. But just that little kind of bring back yeah. to reality, I think, helps them so much. And, and that's where, you know, you play such a big part in it. Well, I think that people need to have hope. But it's easy to say that it's another thing to... Yeah. keep it in the circumstances but to the degree we can help that we can be, be encouraging we can help people keep that little fire alive that keeps them getting up every day and uh, taking on some of the really difficult challenges like having your home destroyed or something else displaced working in with life. insurance companies yeah. Yeah. Fuma, everything Very else is really yeah uh, it's sort of a slow process uh, with all that and all of us have been through one way or another with with, yeah. with all of them uh, the gratification, because uh, this yeah. area was hit so bad. Yeah. You're talking about from Thibodeau to Homa, all the way down to the Intercoastal, all the way down to Grand Isle, Fouchon, yes. Dulac, Montague. Uh, yeah. You know, people, you almost have to see it to believe yeah. it, to see all the debris, to see the homes that have been destroyed and, and people's past lives sort of taken away, but these are some resilient people. Oh. They're going to get through it. They're going to get through it. Yeah, you know, I'm not from down the bayou. I'm from northern Arizona. <laughs> well, it's close enough, a, you know. Raised on a ranch. We can't you drive know. there, but it's close but enough. Let me, let me tell you, though, those ranchers remind me of these people. Yeah. They're tough. And you can step on them and you can you better roll step on, on them. them hard. They're going to get up. Yeah. They're going to get up and they're going to go to work and they're going to solve problems. And that's what I love about this culture here. One of the things that happened, uh, some people know about it, some people know a little bit about it, some people don't know anything about it, that Every hospital was certainly damaged during the storm. You had some at Thibodeau Region, but you guys were the only functioning yeah. hospital in the Lafouche Terrebonne area for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, and you think about if something happens or you got to have a, a child or, you know, you break a bone or something, yeah. you know, you, they got they had to go. So that had to be challenging. And yet, I think greatly fulfilling that. Thibodeau Regional kind of stood above. Yeah, you said it well. We were we were blessed or fortunate, or and we prepare hard. You know, it's not a preparation two weeks before the storm comes in. It's years of preparation, and so you have great people. These great people that they get it, they stay calm, they execute the plan, and then the things that come along that you never, because you can never suppose everything. And yeah, for us, it was all of a sudden, 24 hour period, we had thousands of patients, but the community has been very patient with us, understanding our doctors, our staff worked well together. And I like to think, Mike, that we saved a lot of people's lives. I think you did. It has yeah. no question, no question about it. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.